What's going on guys? Roy Robles here from zigwheels.ph and today we'll be doing a first look of the much anticipated, highly awaited BYD seal. First off, the BYD seal is undoubtedly a performance sedan. You've got these sharp looking LED headlamps. The DRLs are actually looking right, right around here. You've got these nice curves right here. You've got a slight sense of a power bulge right here in the middle, but you're not gonna find an engine underneath that hood. You've got a frunk instead. So as you can see right there, it's one of the few BYD vehicles that we've seen that has a frunk so you can put some smaller items inside. As you can see, you, don't, you won't see any grills right here up front because it's an electric vehicle. Instead, you see some air vents right here, at least to cool the battery. That battery, by the way, it's got something special up its sleeve, and we'll be talking about that later on. You've got cameras right there on top, right here at the bottom. As you can see, there's a small dot right here on top of the license plate and the BYD badge right there. That works with a 360 degree camera system, and it is quite a system indeed. So overall, the look of the BYD seal here, they should call this a killer whale because it definitely looks like a real killer in my book. You got these aerodynamic 18 inch alloy wheels with two 25, 55, R18 tires and they look perfect as it is right here. They fit the wheel wells really nicely and I wouldn't see myself changing this for any other wheel anytime soon if I ever own one. Wink. Anyway, it looks great right here. You got this particular piece of trim on the side. It says BYD design. BYD is known to create and design its own cars. Actually, they're really getting better each time they release a new car. You, and one of the most interesting pieces right here are these pop-up doors. And as soon as they pop up, it's gonna show you the BYD logo right there. I mean, those nice details are definitely much appreciated. It shows you that BYD is definitely very thoughtful in their design language. I mean, you've got these, uh, look at the black trim right here below. And it's not just any black trim. It has this nice triangular design to it, looking like a shark's tooth in my opinion. But definitely it adds a little bit more color contrast to the overall appeal of the looks of the BYD seal. You can actually open up that trunk right there and uh, it's definitely no fastback. We want this rear part, this rear windshield, definitely not open up, but at least it looks fast even though it is standing still. That sounds like a cliche to me, but, but you gotta see us to believe it. I mean, you got these interesting louvers right here on the C pillar. Although they don't have any holes to it, it adds a little bit more to that oceanic nautical theme I was talking about earlier. You got the, the wheels are actually extended right out. So you had minimal overhangs in this sporty sedan right here. And you got your charger right here on the rear. Looks like somewhere you can actually put in some gas in, but they don't want to shock you guys too much with its futuristic electric design. So they put it right there anyway. Now heading over to the back, the rear section of the BYD seal has an even more sleek design, in my opinion, than the front and the side. I mean, might as well give everyone you leave on the road a great show while you do something. You got these blacked out LED tail lamps right here with a somewhat kind of like a raindrop design going on inside there. You got this whole light bar working for you, which is a nice touch. You got this BYD badge right here and it says right here, BYD seal. And the rear camera makes another appearance. It's a small dot right here. If you're wondering how you'd open the rear trunk, you can find a button right here. This is the simple button, the simplest button for me to, that I ever seen, giving you access to all this space. But more on that later on. Talk about more about the design. You got an aggressive looking rear diffuser right here. And yes, I can definitely say that it's quite functional. So you got a couple of sensors right here at the bottom. You got reflector signals right there as well. Let's talk about the trunk. All right, so inside here, you got a lot of space to, uh, to work with. It's a fairly flat design and under here, there you won't find any spare tires, unfortunately, but you'd find another shelf to put more of your stuff in. And we got this box for BYD. That means for every purchase of any BYD vehicle, especially the BYD seal, you're gonna get a home charger. That's how BYD's got your back. I mean, this is a fairly large uh, trunk that we got going on right here. So it's not just fast, it's functional as well. The overall look of the BYD seal definitely fits 
its aggressive and brutal performance. Again, that performance, we'll be checking that out. But before that, let's take a look at the interior and see what type of luxury amenities it can offer while going at triple digits. All right, so finally, we are inside the BYD seal. And yes, although on the outside, it's trying to say and convey the image that it's sporty, it definitely can go triple digits. Inside, it feels like you're in the lap of luxury. And that is no, <laughs> that's definitely an understatement because you've got every conceivable luxury feature inside. You've got leather seats, you've got leather steering wheel. It feels like Alcantara leather. Maybe it's an Alcantara-like uh, material right there. What, whatever it is, it's swathed right across the door cards, all the way to the middle of the dashboard. And on the top of the dashboard, you got nothing but soft touch material right here. This is definitely one of the swankiest cockpits I've ever been in. And that's what she said. Anyway, you got some airbags right here on the side. You got airbags everywhere. It is one safe car, a huge Touchscreen infotainment system with both wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it does a neat trick as well. It has what I call TikTok mode. <laughs> That's right, you get TikTok mode right here. It goes through landscape mode and portrait mode, easy. And you've got a smaller uh, information display right here. Uh, the shifter is interesting though. You got this nice jewel-like shifter. You got all the controls you need right here. Your AC, your drive mode selector, your traction control selector, as well as your parking sensors, uh, parking center control. They're not capacitive, uh, which is a good thing. They are real buttons that you can actually feel and touch. The parking brake is there as well. But I'm not gonna dig too much into uh, the interior right here because we will be doing a full review of this next time. But what is a couple of highlights that we I want to share with you is that you got two wireless chargers right here up front. The steering wheel is adjustable for both reach and rake. Nice. That has a nice chunky feel to it, by the way. And the seats are power operated. So achieving your optimum driving position. And I absolutely love the driving position right here. You would love to go, tr <laughs> go through triple digits with this driving position right here. Make sure you have absolute control. And I like it. Again, I'm not gonna dig too much into uh, all this, but check this out. Take a look at the roof. The roof has got this nice solid piece of glass right there. And even though we're in the middle of the day, it's still not, it doesn't get annoying. I mean, why not? Why don't a lot of companies implement this type of roof if they have, if they have a panoramic sunroof? Anyway, I'm not, we're not gonna complain too much about that. Let's just take a quick look at the back before we head on out. Sitting in the back of the BYD seal, this gets, this is where I start to uh, feel like uh, this has a Jekyll and Hyde kind of personality. Sure, it's fast and it looks fast, looks very aggressive, sporty, but the rear passengers, if you do so to choose to um, include some rear passengers right here, wouldn't be left out that much because you have the same um, leather material on the side, soft touch, everything. Two map pockets, actually here, it's a split map pocket situation. So you got three, <laughs> what? what's going on? And you do have a flat floor. You got two USB ports right there, a USB-A and a USB-C port, a nice cubby hole for your stuff and two AC vents. Nothing much to write home about, except that you got tons of space right here in the back. I can definitely fit three or even more of myself right here. It's that huge. But uh, let's go on to the important part, the drive. So let's, let's, let's not dilly dally, let's get out of here. So those two engines, Powering the four wheels make a total of 530 horses and 670 newton meters of torque, giving you a 0 to 100 acceleration time of, get this, 3.8 seconds. 3.8 seconds. And it has a range of 580 kilometers. So going out of town, driving this for a week, two weeks, is not going to be a problem. Of course, a lot of that is possible because of how they built the BYD seal. So it's got the BYD blade battery, which is a lithium iron phosphate battery. And what that does is that it creates a sort of effect where it's easier to charge. That's right. Although it doesn't hold as much charge, it's not as dense as your regular lithium ion battery. This definitely degrades less than that, even though you charge this or you top this up 200% all the time. Treat the BYD seal or any BYD car with the blade battery like a cell phone. Keep it charged. It likes that. It wants that. It wants you 
to keep it charged, ready to go all day, every day. Now, let's talk about the power. Like I said, this has so much power and torque that it is just crazy. Plus, since this is not an ICE vehicle, it doesn't have an engine underneath that hood, no need to rev up to get to that power. Hit the accelerator pedal and you're there. And you're there! <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you're not gonna have any problems charging this as well because BYD will include a home charger and this is the uh, standard type 2 charger you can find in any mall. It supports both AC slow charging and DC fast charging. So the way that they put in the blade battery here is that it's not actually mounted to the engine or not actually mounted to the frame of the vehicle. It's integrated. That's right. So instead of being a wholly separate part of how the car is built, it's now fully integrated into the chassis. So what that does is that it gives you better driving dynamics, like so. And the effect of it is that it doesn't feel as disconnected unlike other EVs in the market. I mean, yeah, EVs are definitely the way to go when it comes to uh, electric vehicles. That's how, let's call a spade a spade, but they're not really the most exciting to drive around. But with the BYD seal, it feels like steering wheel is actually connected to something. Check this out. I've got George with me and we're testing out the BYD seal and it's giving me his insights about uh, how this car is. We're going to do, do just a little bit of slalom tests and all that. But uh, And as you can see, performance wise, the BYD seal is definitely not, not lacking <laughs> performance. And NVH levels, it's quiet. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I had to say right now. I can't tell you more about the uh, range, if it's actually as accurate as BYD says it is. 580 kilometers worth of range. We'll be testing that later on in a full review. And um, right now, I know you're wondering about the price. All right, so pricing for the BYD seal, I know you guys are very interested about how much it is. Well, as of filming, we have, we, they haven't released the specific price just yet, but they did give us an image price. It starts around 2.5 million pesos, but as soon as we release this video, we'll be putting it right there in the description box below. So that is our first look of the BYD seal. And by gosh, golly, George, this is what EVs have been promising. Instant acceleration, great handling, awesome looks, and of course, a price tag that's definitely very competitive. And I think that the BYD seal will definitely be a winner for the brand. It's time for the other brands to step up. I want to know what you think. Drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Leave us a like in the video if you do like it or leave us an unlike if you don't like it. That's fine with me. But make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon so you wouldn't miss any of our videos. This is Roy Robbins from zigwheels.ph. I will see you guys next time.